This week, Cheshire Wildlife Trust, in partnership with the Shropshire Wildlife Trust, will be undertaking a pilot scheme in vaccinating badgers against bovine tuberculosis, or BTB. The Wildlife Trust believe the government's current licensing of the free shooting method to control uh, badgers and the spread of bovine tuberculosis uh, is not the answer to controlling the spread of this, this disease, which the Wildlife Trust understand it causes terrible uh, hardship and, and financial constraints uh, on farmers across the UK. What we'll be doing uh, over the next few days is using these large uh, live badger traps. The traps are taken out across the farm and left at various locations around the badger sets and along hedgerows where we know the badgers will move along and feed. For those first few days uh, staff will visit the traps on a daily basis and put a small amount of peanuts uh, into a depression at the bottom of the trap and put a large stone on top. We can then return the day after and if the badges have visited the trap overnight we know that it's being used. This process will continue for a number of days uh, up until the uh, two days of vaccination uh, the night before the traps will then be set to the live position so if a badger visits on that particular evening uh, to go and get the peanuts the trap will close shut and then when the vaccinators come in on the following day uh, we'll be able to vaccinate the badger, mark it and release it safely. So what you can see here is what we call a bait point. Now that's before we put the live traps in. Uh, we're in a set area here so you can see this small depression in the ground. Again we've put peanuts into this depression and this rock on top that allows the badgers to get used to the baiting in the area uh, before we bring the traps along. So here we have uh, a trap in place, as you can see it's uh, sitting along the fence line here which will be a, a natural pathway for the badgers. Uh, first thing you can see on the top here is uh, a notice indicating what the trap's here for. Uh, there's also a mobile telephone number on there as well uh, if anybody has any concerns so they can contact the trust to find out. Uh, you can see the trap's currently been locked in the uh, uh, open position uh, so there's no chance of the badgers uh, getting uh, uh, caught in the trap before the two days of vaccination. We can also see uh, with this particular trap here that the rock which would have been towards the end of the trap has been moved. Uh, that tells us that the badger uh, has come in overnight and has taken the peanuts. So we now know there's a, there's a good chance that this trap uh, could have a badger in it when we come to our two days of vaccination. <laughs> 